We've had this Kona Wozo fat bike now for about eight months. It's time to go back to Kona. So I think it's time to have a look at the upgrades we made before we take it to bits and make it back to standard. So here she is in all her glory. I think it's time to start at the front and chat about what we've had done to her. The forks are by RockShock called the Blue Toes and they come in as standard as 100 mil. The first thing we did is we got these banged up to 120 mil. It made a massive difference on the performance, raked it out, just made it ride better. Coming up from there, we've got the Mud Hugger. They do their own specific fat bike guard. This thing has been invaluable. These big tires really do fling some shit up in your face. Although the Schwalbe tires are named after me, Jumbo Jim, we decided to swap the front one out and go with the Minion FBF. This has been a cracking tire, fitted to different wheels as well. We've got the Fat Lab wheels. These were meant to be tubeless, but they are a proto wheel. We put a few dents in them, but it did seem to inhibit their tubeless ability, and we ended up running tubes. Coming up from there, we swapped out Kona's own brand bars. They were a bit narrow, in aluminium, so, and it also had a longer, I think it was a 70 mil Kona stem. So we took that out. We've gone for the nuke proof carbon bars with their nuke proof 40 mil stem. This made for a comfortable, more aggressive ride. Also, on the end of the bars, we've got the DMR death grips, one of my sort of personal favourites. Uh, these have been great, we have the soft ones, not too sure on the soft, they wear out about a bit quickly, but a great grip in all. Coming down the down tube, we have this, it's the plastic Vell bottle cage, just because we needed a bottle in it and tools etc now and then. Coming up from there, we've got the MTB strap on strap for these, we went for the bigger strap because obviously it's a very big inner tube. Up there, an important bit, we've got the Crank Brothers Highline Dropper Post. This has been very reliable, we have no problems with it at all and we're very happy with it. I think we were running a 160, 165, something along those lines but it was great and it worked. Down here to quieten the bike out, I mean this is a must on A, a fat bike, they do bounce around and B, it's a hard tail. So the chain stay, I put this sort of velcro stuff on it which quietens it down and also the little chain tamer. These are fantastic, they really quieten things down and they help keep the chain on the front. Finally, the pedals, the DMR Volts, and these are the special, the Conda guys. Lovely pedal, they've worked great. We have lost, um, we've lost one, three studs on this side, and no studs on the other side. No big deal, they come with spare studs anyway. Great pedal, they look nice as well, I love this sort of oiled effect. So nothing's gone wrong with this bike the whole time we've had it, we've had a lot of fun on it, it's been very enjoyable. Unfortunately, it's time to send it back, I better make it back to standard. Let's sort it out. With all that in mind, and the bike's performance has been great, would I have another fat bike? Definitely yes. Are they fun? Yes. Is it a different type of riding? I'd say so. It's not like riding a normal hardtail, so we're a little bit sad for it to go back. If you want to see our 
original thoughts on how this bike rode, click the link here and you'll see our first review. Keep your pin, folks.